I've made my decision about which of you to promote to manager. Who is it? Who is it? Ah, uh, you're both showing some good hustle, but I'm gonna give the edge to... McBride! Yes! Congratulations! I knew you were competing with me! Well, you were competing too! You swiped that burrito right out of my hands, burrito swiper! You're the one who was showing off with the bathroom cleaning! Potpourri? Seriously? It provides a soothing environment for our customers, and I won't apologize for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an unlimited free flippy cup to fill. And refill. Uh, it's not fair, Flip. I've been working just as hard as Clyde. That cup should be mine. I hear what you're saying, Chief. Uh, you know, I do happen to have an opening for a supervising manager. Technically, the cup would go to him. <gasps> But you're going to have to show me you deserve the gig. What do I have to do? I'll do anything. Ugh, I think I found the clog. There's my missing sock. Oop. No sense in wasting good cheese. <sighs> Sorry, Chief. We're doing some restructuring. Say hello to your new supervising manager. I hear what you're saying, Chief. You know, I do happen to have another position available. Senior supervising manager. <gasps> you get your cup back. What do I have to do? I'll do anything. Nice. <sighs> uh, too many flippies, gotta pee. Wait, I have to go too. Give me that key. Sorry, I got first dibs. Don't forget, I'm executive senior supervising manager. Yeah, but I'm senior executive supervising manager. I outrank you. Nuh uh. Yeah, huh? At first, come on, I'm warning you. Let's go. I had it first. Come on, let's go. No way, man. I've had it with you. You're fired. You can't fire me. I'm firing you. Oh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. I can go fishing. I got two bozo interns working their tails off trying to get promoted. <laughs> Amazing what a kid will do for free flippies. <laughs> Holy nachos. Flip's been playing us for fools. I'm really sorry, Lincoln. I let my love of flippies get in the way of our friendship. Me too, Clyde. Can we please go back to being Clink and McCloud? You know it, buddy. And now that we're a team again, I think I know how to spend the last few hours of our internship. Updating our joint resume? Nope. Better. Oh, interns! I've got a special taxidermy job for one of you. There's a promotion in it. Uh, sorry, Flip. We've done a little restructuring, and from now on, we're calling the shots. I think all those Flippies have given you brain freeze. Back to work, boys! Shall we show him, Clinkin? Indeed, McCloud. Thanks to our senior positions, we had access to all the store security footage. And we'd hate to see this get on the internet. All right, enough! What'll it take for this to go away? I'll do anything! Ready, Lily? Okay, guys. 
guys, I'm recording. I can't believe this is the last time we'll get to introduce a little loud to ice cream. <laughs> Go, Lily! Lily! Woohoo! Oh no, sweetie, don't worry. We'll get you a new Sunday. Uh, excuse me. No dice, dudes. They close at five this week. What? Huh, you think they'd advertise something like that? <laughs> oh, poor baby. Let's get you home. Oh, oh it's okay, Lily. Lily. Up, Lily. Oh, Lily. I've never seen Lily look so sad. You'll get that ice cream Sunday, Lily. Perhaps when the road isn't so rocky. Don't have a mint chip on your shoulder about this. <gasps> Lynn, read the room. <gasps> it's okay, honey. We'll be home soon. <laughs> oh, what is that? It smells like a thousand angry skunks. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. oh, somebody needs a diaper change, Stan. A little powder, a little wipey. Now you've got a fresh new diaper. <laughs> Oops, we got a runner. <laughs> oh, look what Lily found. That gives me an idea. One ice cream sundae coming up. Don't forget the gummy bears. Whip chopping in his house. And some yummy cookie crumbles. <laughs> Thanks, Flip. But you're not supposed to be talking after your wisdom teeth surgery. You guys, she's about to try it. <laughs> <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd swear Lily orchestrated this whole thing. Oh, don't be silly, honey. She's just a baby. <laughs> as soon as that gas tank is full, our lives are over. Think they have Wi-Fi in the woods? <sighs> oh, couldn't you let me live in hope? We may as well enjoy this last bit of civilization before we become forest people, I guess. I'm going to use a real bathroom while I still can. Huh? is all this? No, no, I'm still on the road. Oye, me bien, you have to cancel my next appearance, too. Just say it's a curse again. Que feo! This pimple has gotten even bigger. My fans can see me like this. Ernesto Estrella? Oh, a fan. I love fans. You lied about Great Lake City being cursed because of a pimple? Oh, an angry fan. Estrella out! You're not on TV right now. That's not going to work. Thanks to you, my abuela made us leave Great Lake City, and now she's taking us to live in the woods. I... I didn't see that coming. I'm so sorry, muchacha. I never thought my words could cause so much trouble. Please, let me try to fix this. You better fix this. <laughs> You're very scary for your size. I, Ernesto Estrella. Hall for applause. Oh, oh, look, it's the Bobo in person. Mucho gusto, Bobo. The universe tells me my biggest fan may have a bad luck problem. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yes, there's the black cloud. Don't worry, Miss Estrellitas. I'm here to help. Let's cleanse the Casa Grandes. <laughs> I'll need coconut oil candlesticks, your finest sage, and jasmine incense. We got flashlights, wilted flowers, and pineapple air freshener. And you get a free flippy with that. That will have to do. A free flippy? Make a cherry. Back. Ooh, finally some real talent to film. And action. Make sure to get my good side. <laughs> Let's get cleansed. <laughs> Yeah. 
suerte, suerte. You are all now cleansed. I feel it. The curse is lifted. <laughs> what can I say? Ernesto is the best. Booyah! <laughs> I meant to do that. Thank you, Ernesto. You've saved me, familia. You truly are the best. Old. My pleasure. Don't forget to buy several copies of my new book, Es tu destino. I pre-ordered it in three languages. And I've got something for that pimple. <gasps> <gasps> I feel so relieved. I told you Ernesto was wonderful. Yeah, he was okay. Familia, I think it's time to go home. Yes, no. Oh, that could happen to anybody. Hmm. Brain broccoli, nope. Family fecal and hair samples, no. Nope. Sorry, Snakebird. Genetic engineering is too pedestrian for a day this big. <laughs> Combustible ketchup? No. Please! Ah! What's going on in here? We heard the Snakebird and Mom sent me to check on Lily. Nah, she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the midst of a crisis of epic proportions. I'm slated to give the keynote research presentation at this year's Genius Con, and I have no new research to present. Hmm. You know what always helps me think? A Filippi. I'm in extreme pain, but I have no additional neurological activity to report. Hey, what's with the sour face? Your goldfish die or something? Uh, there's a 500-pound steel drum on your foot. Dang it, that's twice today! <gasps> Hard work really gets my stomach grumbling. Is that the same cheese we put on our nachos? Yeah, Jesus, cheese, cheese. My heart! Far be it for me to question your ailment, but the heart is located in the thoracic cavity in a space known as the mediastinum. And yeah, not flips! Mine's in my belly! Extraordinary pain tolerance, misplaced organs, a diet consisting of mostly gas station cheese. <gasps> Flip, how would you like to be the subject of my new research project? Ah, Flip ain't no science, man. My research will be presented at one of the largest scientific conferences in the world. It would be great publicity for the food and fuel. Ah. Ah, and you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Wow. First, I'll need to run some routine tests. Five minutes! That's amazing, Flip! <laughs> now we're going to see how you hold up in sub-zero temperatures. <laughs> amazing! The experts in every scientific field are at this conference. Hey, sorry we're late. We had a lengthy discussion about what smart casual means. What are you two subcranials doing here? Uh, they're here to do promotion. You got the samples? Yep, and the brand new Flips Food and Fuel Pneumatic Flippy Cannon. <sighs> Just don't embarrass me. This is a big night for me. Psst, come on, Lise. We're pros. Ah! Ah. Sorry, Dr. McClough. Please welcome Lisa Loud. Greetings, colleagues. I, Lisa Loud, PhD, JD, MD, and occasional DDS, present to you an epic discovery. I give you Animalia Cordata Mammalia Flippia. <laughs> Now, to the naked eye, an ordinary human male. But a closer look reveals something far different. His liver is in his neck. His skin is one big callus. He has gills. His heart beats like no other. And last but certainly not least, my greatest discovery of all, 
the specimen has two posterior crevices. Street name, butt cracks. <gasps> so head on down to Flip's Food and Fuel after the show. Come for the snacks, stay for the cracks. Oh, yeah. Come on there, baby. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flip's Food and Fuel. I know a way to settle this. Yeah, arm wrestle. Let's go. No, let's just ask Lori and Bobby where they would rather spend Thanksgiving. Huh, where'd they go? And that's how Bobby and Lori ended up at the only place in town that's open 24-7, 365, except during fishing season. I'm sorry, Boo Boo Bear. I know you were looking forward to having a real Thanksgiving this year. It's not all bad. I found this half-off turkey jerky. Whoa! How did you guys find us? Tracking devices. You left before trying my twice-baked tart. <laughs> they would prefer my flan. Flan schman. Tart, tart, tart. Stop. Don't you guys see? This is why we left. We couldn't stand the fighting and competing. We don't want to choose sides. So maybe from now on, we should just spend Thanksgiving by ourselves. Well, nobody wants that. We certainly don't. Lori, Bobby, I'm sorry we've been acting so childishly. We're sorry, too. It's just so hard to let go of your kids. You know what? You should get Lori and Bobby for Thanksgiving. Well, goodness knows we haven't done anything to deserve that. They should spend it with you. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you just rotate every year, huh? Much like the juicy hot dogs I'm selling at a mere 40% markup. Holiday discount. Works for us. Yeah. Nice idea. Yeah. I'm glad we figured out future years, but what about right now? I'm starving. Well, we've got hot dogs and sunflower seeds and 20 kinds of artisanal jerky. Maybe we could throw a dinner together here. I'm game. Me too. We could make this place look festive. I think I have some leftover decorations in the car. I'll help you. So that's the story of how old Flip saved Thanksgiving. Both families coming together to give thanks and celebrate the abundance that is the old food and fuel. Rosa, this chili cheese dog stuffing is divine. The habanero sauce was a nice touch. I never leave home without it. It's the perfect combination of store-bought and homemade. I can't believe I finally got dessert this year, and the whole aisle's worth. And I can't believe we hit our donation goal for the food drive. Thanks, Flip. Yeah, don't mention it. Before it gets out to Flip's a soft touch, it's all over. What do you think, babe? Best tea giving ever? Literally our best so far. Thanks, Boo Boo Bear. A toast. toast to Thanksgiving traditions. Old and new. Old and new. Old. You dudes are tugging at my heartstrings, which means I gotta tug at my guitar strings. How about a duet? Uno, dos. Two different families yet so much in common. The loudness, the chaos, but we'll just keep drumming. Together it's, it's better, better when we're, we're in harmony. harmony. For Bobby and Lori, our hearts were once breaking. But now we're together, it's memories we're making. It's amigos nuevos, that's you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and, you, and me. Thanksgiving fiesta. Aquí. You betcha. Will somebody save me the beak? Yeah. and jalapenos, Lori's favorite. Wild cherry and cola, Bobby's favorite. <laughs> oh, it's hopeless. <laughs> Babe, I don't know what's happened to us. Neither do I. But if it's this hard, then maybe we have to face the truth and think about letting go. <laughs> hey, snap faces, get cleaning. 
Guess I better wash up before heading back. Grandpa will get mad if the bodega truck smells like cheese or whatever this is. It's been 10 minutes. Is he not coming back? Does he never want to see me again? Bobby? Um, hey, so the bathroom door is broken and I can't get out of here. Oh, hang on. I'll get Flip. Oh, it's a little temperamental. You just got to sweet talk it a bit. <laughs> Dang it. One of you owes me a doorknob. Okay, Boo Boo Bear, the fire department's on their way. Oh, I hope they get here soon. You know how terrified I am of confined spaces. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay on the phone with you until they get here. Oh, thanks, babe. So what should we talk about? Um, well, I could tell you about that funny thing that happened in math. Oh yeah, I totally want to hear about that. Oh, and last week for dinner, my dad tried this new thing with cod. Cool, like fish sticks or more of a filet situation. Okay, so would you rather give up all cheeses or all desserts? OMG, hmm, tough one. I know, right? Because what about cheesecake? cheesecake? <laughs> <sighs> this is so nice. And so easy. What did we think was so hard again? I have no idea. I guess I let that one awkward phone call get me all freaked out. Same. Maybe we've been trying to fix something that isn't broken. I mean, we know we love each other. Right? Of course! You're the best thing that ever happened to me! Oh, Boo Boo Bear. Great idea asking for a ride, babe! I know! Isn't it literally so romantic? Yeah! Hey, maybe we could try to finish that movie when we get back, even though I know Nina dies. Oh, come on, man! Spoilers! All right, Flippy Boy, it's Christmas Eve. Time to take advantage of all these last-minute holiday shoppers. Cha-ching! Uh, how much are all these lights gonna cost me? Uh, 200 feet of lights at $1 per foot? That's uh, $500! Hey, I'll put it on your tab! Oh, well, you're considering the majestic pine, huh? I'm not so sure. This thing looks like it's gone to meet its evergreen maker, don't you think? Uh, one way to be sure is the stronger the scent, the fresher the tree. So uh, go on, ladies, give it a whiff. Hooray! That smells fresher than the perfume samples in our Country Gal magazines. We'll take it. Huh? Oh, and uh, all sales are final. Flip. Kudos on your fine selection of inflatable Christmas figures. We McBride pride ourselves on having the jolliest yard display in town. Guess we lucked out with this last minute holiday sale. Oh, that sale ended four seconds ago. Tough break there, Chief. Clouds, my big cha-chingers. <laughs> holiday salutations, Flip. Father got busy at the restaurant and failed to plan our Christmas Eve dinner tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm such a bad dad. <laughs> hey, your old pal Flip can take care of this yuletide kerfuffle. <laughs> Hurry, Lisa. I need to be cooking soon or we'll be eating as Santa squeeze it down the chimney. No, yeah, no. <laughs> These provisions look questionable. Hey, that offends me to my core. I pride myself on carrying the best. Hmm? The highly repulsive defense rests. <laughs> Flip, I'm done with your ding dang deliveries. Can I take this off? Tights are chafing. Nope, you ain't even close to paying off the damage you did. But I told you, I was bursting and accidentally dropped the key in the nacho cheese vat. Hey, your bladder ain't my problem. I need all these delivered. You gotta work tonight and tomorrow. What? Christmas Day? Major holiday foul, man. You call this a Christmas tree? For shame. I hope this misdeed haunts you like an undigestible ham bone in the gullet. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Flipperoony! <laughs> what corn chips is going on? Huh? Cool 
Clyde and I are the ghosts of Christmas present. Yeah, and we're gonna take you on what Dr. Lopez calls a journey of personal growth. Uh, behold, Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I did it now. You see, Flip, because of your greed. Mm. Uh. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you? Christmas Eve dinner is served. Back, back! You're not eating my family on Christmas Eve? Ugh, stinking flip deliveries. First I find out I gotta work on Christmas, then Scoots makes me scrape the stripes off all her candy canes because they agitate her. Oh, what the heck happened to you guys? Well, Christmas can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, none of this is on me. I mean, it ain't my fault he can't cook, right? Ooh, I don't feel so hot. Dr. Lovis would say that what you're feeling is toxic guilt. And believe me, it'll eat away at you until you change your ways. Oh, nachos. What happened to my store? In time, your customers grew tired of being cheated by you, so they stopped coming. You went out of business and were left penniless. Please! Ah, the shop is everything to me. Okay, caller. I changed my mind. Hang up. Okay, I'm good. Caller. Nope. Hang up, hang up. Ah. Um, what's going on? Okay, from what I understand, my raccoon's a little rusty. The lady on the framed turkey label is Flip's old middle school crush. Um, Tommy Hobblesfort? Tammy Gobblesworth. Ah, my one true love. I always thought she and I would eat food off of other people's plates together forever. But then I got locked out of the school dance and missed my one shot to impress her. Ever since Flip found the label, he's been attempting to call and ask her to dinner. But he keeps chickening out. Hey, chickening out is a bit harsh. Flip, you can totally do this. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, you're Flip Filipini. You're a legend. Uh, I suppose I am pretty fliptastic. Okay, give me that phone. Gobblesworth Farms, how can I help you? Tammy Gobblesworth, please. Tell her it's Philip Filipini calling. Philip Filipini? What a wonderful surprise. Oh, I am gobblesmacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Philip, are you there? Flip, say something. Hello? Uh, you bet it's old Flip, uh, Philip. <laughs> What's shaking eggs and bacon? Hey, you want to catch up over some grub? Say tomorrow night at Lynn's table, 7 o'clock. <gasps> oh, I'd love to. Gobble, gobble. Uh, sorry, loudies. I panicked and the old word maker shut down. You saved my butt. Yeah, I'm not much of a hugger, so uh, here's some beef jerky. My way of saying thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you some too. 